All right, I laid the board down, got it where it needed to be. And I took a mechanical pencil with the lead extended out, and I made my four outside marks. Now I've now drilled them out, and once I get these mounted, I'll mark the centers and drill them out. And then what I'm going to do here, because this plastic moves, is when I drill through it take a big bit, drill right about there and right about there, take my knife, cut it to connect it, make a big oval, kind of like those, so it'll have room to, plastic have room to slide around the post. Finally got the motherboard in, not in the case yet, but Finally got it. You can see I put these standoffs. I've got four of them on there. In the middle, these standoffs are kind of hard to find because all of the other ones, I just happen to have those out of an old case. All the other ones, I don't know if you can see. They're shorter. I can't find any that are this long. And so I don't have enough of them, so in the middle here, I'm going to put this part of the plastic doesn't move. So I've got one of these plastic things. I'm just going to epoxy it there. It's the right height. And then this, which is made to go in a slot on the motherboard. You know, it would fit in like an oblong slot. You push it in, something like that, but oblong. Push it in and then slot it over and it would lock. But I'm going to put just a drop of epoxy on it. Attach it to the motherboard. Put the motherboard in place. And it'll glue down right where it's supposed to go. So we're going to stick the motherboard in. And see how it fits. Now the front panel, I've got the hard drive LED. I just drilled through on the back, through that button. Didn't go all the way through, but enough to where it would, um, you know, where to light up. And then I'll just feed that through the hole in the front. go through that hole right there and it'll go through and plug in the motherboard. Got my DVD drive mounted. Power supplies in. I've changed the fan. Put a more powerful fan. Right now it's set up like the old one was. The old one was thinner and so it left a gap between the back of the case and where the fan mounts so really it could just and it's it's made to suck air and blow it in the case so really and you know there is holes in the back of the case but with that gap there it could just suck air from in the case so now that it's closer it's more likely to pull it from outside the case I haven't decided, I may switch this fan around to where it's blowing air out of the case. I'm not crazy about having the air blowing straight on the motherboard because um, it is going to blow right on the motherboard. And I've put a more powerful one because I was a little bit afraid of this thing running hot in this case. But I put a fan control right there. You can see I can adjust it. It's a really powerful fan. So, I'm going to get the motherboard mounted and get it um, ready to go. And then we'll load OS X. And here's the motherboard mounted. So you got one, two, three, four standoffs, one plastic snap, and that other standoff that will end up being epoxied. 
got the video card in. Let's see what it looks like from the back. Here's where I cut it out. Looks good. And let's see the video cards in. Now here's what I was talking about on the slots. You can see this motherboard has the small PCI Express slot right here. Now, if you need to use that for anything, it's useless on here. There's no spot for it. Now, some motherboards have your full-size PCI Express slot right here. Most of them do, I think. Like, uh, like this board. See? This board would not work in here if you were going to use a add-on video card. This one works perfect. So you would have had to have slid this up, you know, a whole, uh, probably about an inch, which would put these way out here, which don't really work. I mean, if you're not going to use, I'm probably not going to use PS2 anyway, so, you know, you could just notch this out. You just wouldn't be able to get to it. As you can see, you would put it right in here useless. So this worked perfect. And the hole cut out pretty much perfect. So all we've got to do now is route our wires. Try to clean all this up, make it look nice. Get it all put it in there. That is a, I think it's an Earthwatts 380 Antec. I think it's Earthwatts. And then that's what the front panel looks like on. And we've got all of our wires to hook up to the motherboard. And then we've got our fan to plug up. DVD drive, and we're not going to use the zip disk. It's all mounted up. We got 160 gigabyte, gigabyte SATA. It's all mounted up. We got 160 gigabyte SATA Seagate. They already had. 2 gig of DDR2, which I already had. We've got the Core 2 Duo 2.8 gigahertz, which I bought with points I earned from my credit card. Got the Gigabyte motherboard, paid 50 bucks for it. Got a Radeon HD 2400 Pro which I already had. I bought a $10 Firewire card and I bought a $23 Pioneer DVD dual air burner SATA. I already had the 380 watt power supply. I had the case fan. So spent 20 bucks, $23 there. 50 bucks for the motherboard and all the other stuff already had so not too bad pretty budget later on if this works good I'll probably buy maybe a one terabyte hard drive and I'm gonna put four gigs of RAM in it but this will work for now